Hello and welcome to this learning video. In this learning video, we are going to start with the problem solving. So, let us start with the very first problem on Fourier transform. So, this problem says find the Fourier sine and cosine transform of e to the power minus ax. So, to find out the Fourier sine and cosine transform of e to the power minus ax, you must remember the definition, right? So, let us start this uh, solution of this problem with the three golden words which are we know that so what we know we know that the sine transform we know that the Fourier Fourier sine transform of f of x is is what is it Fourier sine transform of f of x and sometimes we denote it as another notation also Fourier sine transform of yeah <coughs> this is for sine this is for the parameter okay and what is it under root 2 by pi integration 0 to infinity e to the power sorry then e to the power means this uh, function f of x into sine s of x dx okay so this is the definition of Fourier sine transform of x okay now we have f of x what is f of x here here f of x is equal to e to the power minus a x okay so let me write down this f s bar of s that is Fourier sine transform of transform or is equal to what is this under root 2 by pi into integration 0 to infinity what is my f of x yes my f of x is e to the power minus ax into sine sx dx now you must be as i said you must be uh, having a you must have a good hand on integration so as to solve problem of the type like this okay so i am just uh, quote this uh, thing that we are going to make use of some of you might uh, uh, might know this formula so this formula is for integration of e to the power minus ax into sine bx dx so this is equal to 1 upon coefficient of x a square coefficient of x b square into e to the power ax as it is so what we have done coefficient of x minus a square is plus a square then coefficient of x b plus b square into e to the power minus x as it is now in bracket it would be minus a sine bx as it is minus a sin bx as it is minus what is derivative of sin derivative of sin is cos bx into b so this is the formula that you have to remember in order to solve the problems okay now apply this formula to this so what it should be it should be under root 2 by pi okay under root 2 by pi in bracket I am going to write this as 1 upon a square plus s square into e to the power minus ax into what is it minus a into sin sx minus what is derivative of sin is cos sx into s and the limits are 0 to infinity okay so uh, yeah, you can make bracket if you want okay now substitute x is equal to infinity once and uh, x is equal to zero second so applying upper limit minus lower limit we getting under root 2 by pi into 1 upon a square plus s square into now apply upper limit so it will give you e to the power minus infinity right and e to the power minus infinity is 0 so 0 into anything 0 into anything is 0 okay because e to the power minus infinity is 0 
so upper limit is 0 minus lower limit what is lower limit put x is equal to 0 so it should be e to the power 0 into what is it into minus a sin 0 minus s into cos 0 simple okay now you can solve further you will be getting under root 2 by pi into 1 upon a square plus s square here it is 0 minus e to the power 0 is 1 and this is 1 into what is it this is again 0 this is s cos 0 is 1 so if you want you can give here since e to the power minus infinity is 0 and here e to the power 0 is 1 e to the power 0 is 1 sin 0 is 0 cos 0 is 1 so this minus minus will become plus so what I have now I have Fourier sine transform of f of x which I denoted as fs power of s this comes out to be under root 2 by pi into what is it s upon s square plus a square this is my Fourier sine transform for the given function e to the power minus ax okay now let us find out the Fourier cosine transform of this okay so this is the first part now let us find out the second we know that the Fourier we know that the Fourier cosine transform of f of x is given by fc of f of x these are the notations and here instead of sine it would be a cos okay e to the power cos sx write it precisely because uh, sometimes you missed writing s okay now like the first formula we will have the formula for this also instead of sine if it is cos then first two terms remain as it is then it should be minus a cos bx minus what is derivative cos minus so minus already and minus sin bx into b okay so now apply this formula and try to get the uh, Fourier cosine uh, sorry Fourier cosine transform of this function so this is like this the so same then it would be minus a cos sx minus minus plus s sin sx okay now apply the limits we'll be getting e to the power first term e to the power minus infinity 0 0 into anything 0 so upper limit will contribute 0 lower limit will give you e to the power minus 0 minus a cos 0 plus s sin 0 so this is nothing but 1 upon this minus this is 1 this is minus a plus 0 so this minus minus become plus so this is a so Fourier cosine transform of Fourier cosine transform of s is this under root 2 pi a upon s square plus a square so you may uh, find this very easy if you are good at integration again I am saying so you can go through the elementary integration the video lectures I uh, have made you uh, made available for you so you just go through that first and then you can think over uh, this okay so thank you for watching this learning video and have a good day thank you